y'all so y'all just heard some music from jaith and underscore jay-z art okay. yes what up partner hey friend <laughs> so of course welcome back to with audacity the podcast where we always try to educate uplift and promote everything within our community doing everything unapologetically and with Audacity, baby. Bow, bow, okay. bow, 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 bow. Okay. So we have made it all the way to episode nine. Yes. Oh my god! Nine in a stretch, not a seven in a stretch. Yeah. Well, we yeah. basically home stretch. This is the home, home stretch. stretch, seriously. Um, and so today, I mean, this is we did it with audacity, y'all. We're this episode is gonna be a little bit different because basically, we just gonna talk about like how we made it through twenty twenty. Man. Can y'all believe it? Man. It. I can't believe it. Ah. <laughs> can I? No one, no one can tell me last year at this time that we would have, we, we, we would be here today like, boy, stop. <laughs> I know you lied. <laughs> A pandemic? Oh, my God. Whoa. Economy now? Whoa. What are we doing? What? I ain't walking across I'm the stage. If someone would have told me you'll graduate, but you won't be able to celebrate. Say what? Huh? Come again? Come again, say what? So, this, so this <laughs> episode. But God. But God. That is my... We and did it. Literally the phrase of the we year, but God. <laughs> so this episode, we really just going, y'all always hear with us, hearing from us talking about voting, dating, praying, which are, have been all such heavy topics. Y'all, this episode, we really just going to sit down and Crack just woo saw. We did it. This is our woo saw. We did it episode. We made it out the trenches. Yes. We made it out of 2020. The Woo. new year is upon us. It is December 29th, y'all. We counted down to the new year. A couple more days, y'all. So, Bye, yeah. 2020. Bye. Bye, 2020. <laughs> Bye. Um, so, yeah, we just going to, you know, have a real conversation, check in, see how everybody's doing, how everybody's feeling, um, and just have a, a reflective moment, honestly, this episode. This episode is all about reflection. Um, I hope y'all are reflecting too. Any moments that y'all want to share, any self reflection questions that y'all have, send it in. Right. What was y'all favorite episode? Oh what yes. What was your favorite resource? Like what what episode hit right on time? Yeah. Tell us. Reflect yeah. with. Because I get we get messages all the time, and I don't know if it's like people want to be shy or yeah. what, but like we have comment sections. Yeah. So. <laughs> comment. <laughs> Slide in the DMs or the comments, yeah. or just email us too. You yeah. know. I mean, I still text me, but also, <laughs> but also, so yeah. So Jazz, how are you feeling? Um, how are you doing with everything that's been going on? You made it out, like reflecting back on 2020, you know, maybe some personal moments, some public moments. I mean, how are you feeling with every freaking thing that has gone on in 2020? Mm, Watch her still be amazing. I am amazing. She's been amazing all year. All year. Why stop now? Oh yeah, I'm amazing. Okay. I'm amazingly overwhelmed Ooh. with this year. Like, I'll be honest, and I'm I always say amazing anytime anyone asks me. In yeah. case it's your first episode, you know, when they ask me how I'm doing, I always say I'm amazing, but I'm amazingly overwhelmed, y'all. I feel like I didn't really get time to process Ooh, yeah. so many things in 2020 just Yeah. And then you, you know, you're trying yeah. to duck, and yeah. it's coming on the other side. So, I'm, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm here. I'm thankful. There we are. Oh, yeah. I saw a meme the other day that was like, I'm not gonna say that like 2020 is kicking my butt, but she got hands. <laughs> like, <laughs> she got hands. But she got hands. I love it. Is that, love it. Is that how you feel, Kara? No, because I am not a reflector. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. In this moment, think I need you to take like 0. 0.5 seconds starting to now, and tell me how you're doing. Yikes! 
Okay, tell me how you're doing while I'm talking. Tell me how you're doing. Thinking back on 2020, everything that has happened, pandemic, you know, shifting everything, graduation, where you are now. How are you doing with everything that is going on in this moment? I'm good. Okay. I think, but that that's what I'm saying. By reflection, like, I don't, why reflect on the bad times? Okay. Like, I, yeah. Can't I'm, dwell in it. Yeah. Nah, like, I'm, I'm I re- really, like, we did it. And I'm ready for the next stage. But I will say that I did I and I've said this before, I did not sit in no gloom and doom. Mm-hmm. That's just not me. I can't do it. So I'm just happy to be here. And I don't know. My my home church is I'm just kidding, because that's how we starting it <laughs> off. Um, but for real, I'm 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 happy that I still got things to smile about because without laughter and without smiling, like what is there? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. For sure. I'm, yeah. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, blessed and highly favored. Amen. I love it. Amen. <laughs> um, but you know, looking back on 2020, oof, yikes. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's all I. I mean, I'm always thankful. I will always say that. But I feel jazz on that amazingly overwhelmed um, with the things that can go on. Um, and while you don't dwell on it, I feel like 2020 kind of took some punches. Like, oh, she got hands. Yeah, and so you know, it it took it can take an effect on the mental. Mm-hmm. You know, um, had to take a step back and really, really focus on like mental health and mental awareness, and really make sure self was okay because you can really get lost in all of this, and you have to make sure that you were okay. At least I did speaking personally. Um, mm-hmm. so I think that it was a very a year to make sure that I was okay collectively. And then um, also a year of, like, like I, I, I would say it, you know, being uncomfortable but growing from that. So it's good and bad, but I'll tell anybody, make sure you're okay in the midst of the chaos because the world mm-hmm. can be chaotic. Um, and just, you know, keep a good circle around you. So yeah. I'll say that. I like that meme, Kara. Um, I, I know people know this one when they're just sitting at the computer typing and the room is it's on fine. fire. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Everything's it's fine. fine. It's fine here. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. That's been 2020. <laughs> yeah. In a meme. Like, for yeah, real. It's seriously. fine. We still, we still here. Can't stop, won't Ooh, stop. Child. Baby, when they said they shutting down and we went to virtual, you know, people think when you working from home, you chilling, right? Mm-mm. Child. I work more than yeah. I've worked ever. Literally. In this last nine months, I have long this pandemic been going on, y'all. It's rude. It was crazy. It's rude. It's working, understatement. working from home was it was cool for a little like a little bit a little minute. Then it was just like, oh, this is no separation. This is a lot. This yeah. is nuts. No there's no separation is right. Yeah. It's rude. <laughs> well we here. We made it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, y'all want to listen to some music before we get into the questions? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a little musical break. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Well, listen to a little Jay, y'all. We'll be back. Okay, we trucking through to the end of the year. Ooh, so I know Kara said she don't really want to reflect, but <laughs> uh, I need you to do that right quick. <laughs> just really quick, just dig into. No. You, you don't have to sit there. I'm not gonna ask you to dwell in it, but give me your worst moment of 2020, and then give me your best moment. Go. <laughs> Kara gonna be like, "Where's the wine?" <laughs> I know. Is it illegal to drink on YouTube? Can we drink on YouTube? Did we select if it was okay for kids? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was a great sound effect. Actually. Thank you. It really was. Thank you. <laughs> hey, bottle girl. Okay. Um. So, I had a lot of great moments in 2020. I mean. I did. I... I literally was with my family a lot. I was with my people a lot. I think that me and Jasmine's friendship has grown. I think that me and Jasmine's friendship has grown. Um, I met some incredible people. Um, I'm booed up. 
Booty <laughs> light up. Boot up. Baby, what? <laughs> what is this? I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, tw- like for real, for real, y'all. I know that a lot of people are are really struggling with 2020, and I don't want to make like think that that's slighted at all. It is not. But I ha- I just. I have just said this is another year and like I just have to just keep on saying that mm-hmm. this is another year and because of that I'm going to just keep on continuing to this another year. So my my favorite moment I don't I, I honestly I do I have a lot. I okay. do have a lot. Um I think that my mother turned 60. Oh. And we of course we were not able to do a big <clears throat> thing for her for my dad's 60th we did a surprise party. So for her 60th, I had everyone send in a video. Yeah, and I it, yes, yes. and it was uh it was, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And I like when I say everybody, it was like 30 minutes yeah. at least. Aww. But she was not expecting anything because of the pandemic. Her birthday's in June. And so because she wasn't expecting anything, and she literally has said many times that that was the best birthday present she's ever had. That is so sweet. And I was just like, well, girl, you got to keep on living, so I don't know what you're going to get next year. <laughs> <laughs> but, but just seeing, seeing like her being happy, us, all four of us, um, being together, celebrating her birthday, her crying, and then crying laughing, and then laughing crying, and like, you know, everyone just... and it was, I think that that has to be one of one of my favorite days, yeah. June eighteenth, uh, um, because she she really got a good a good day, and that was important. Yeah, um, that's so sweet. One of my worst days, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty. I mean, like I had one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I had one definitely when when we couldn't figure out the whole graduation thing. It was a kind of like, yeah. A, yeah. but. Um, yeah, I, I had one. I just, I can't, I don't know, I can't say this was it. Yeah. And I'm, but I'm very thankful that I, I can't say this was it. Yeah. Cause I could, I easily could have had one. Yeah. Easily could have had one. So. For sure. Mm-hmm. You got something for the people? You got a best and a worst one or worst and the best moment? Um, worst. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. On your worst behavior. <laughs> um, worst. Uh, yikes. So. Oh, blah, blah, blah. let's see you know you don't want to think about the bad too too much but so this year uh, the beginning of the year i remember um before i i was going on vacation and i lost a very close family member and it was it was really tough because i, I was literally about to get on the boat and then you get a call and it's just like well your uncle passed and i'm like excuse me so that was our, because that is a memory I won't forget. So right. that started off my 2020 a little rocky. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Um, I think the year kind of like I coasted and I was all right. Then, you know, COVID 2020. So, yeah, I personally, here we go. I actually had COVID this year. But up, um, and but recover, God. but God, but God. Right. she here, baby. So yeah, um, you see it in the flesh. Little right? story. So I did a whole two weeks alone by myself. Yeah, we missed that um, girl. So yeah, but I'm so thankful that I have. Um, so I won't say that was the worst day, but it was a very tough time mm-hmm. because you don't realize how much time by yourself is a lot. Right. Like, I live alone, but I'm I'm not alone that much. Mm-hmm. You're not a loner. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a loner. Yeah. So I like my people. Like Especially I, your mama. I love my mama. She drove by every day Just to wave to me to make sure I was okay. And that was... She got to lay her eyes on you. Yeah. Yes, right. baby. So, That's yeah. Right. But being alone and being sick alone is tough. Mm-hmm. So I will say that was really tough, y'all. Don't get COVID. Be careful. Go get tested. Um, <laughs> like, be responsible out here. Right. Um, so that was tough. So Rona 2020 was very hard. Um, so those were some of my rocky moments. Transparency out here, his little bit of Lord Jazz's life. And, um, but some of my best moments I remember, um, I won't say like closing on my house was a good day, but it really wasn't closing day that was good because that's just a bunch of paperwork and like, woohoo. But it was honestly move in day because like everybody, <laughs> it was move in day. Karen would be like, no, it wasn't. But because <laughs> she came over with a big old trip. But honestly, that night, like everybody was here. I'm just an emotional Betty. So I'm just like, oh my God. But everybody was here. <laughs> oh, 
so sweet. And like when mama cooked a big meal for everybody. And it was also Larelle's birthday. So we were celebrating that too. And I just remember like just being with everybody. So it was just for me, it was just the, like a a moment of just like, oh, yay. Yeah. So I think I cried like everybody walking in. I was like, I'm just and like, that was oh, pre-Rona. God. Yeah, that yeah. was. So we actually were like together. Yeah, like, <laughs> that was like May, I think. So yeah. we were we were still together. So that was just such like a happy day. Moving, we were all sweaty and gross, but I was just so filled with like happiness hey. after the movies pissed me off. But I was still very happy that day. I will never forget moving day. So shout out to my circle once again. Coming through. I just, I'm Baby, just. Because I pulled up in the big truck. She did. And we were just like, <laughs> put everything in there. Yeah. She was I like, forget them. Get out the back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so load it up. <laughs> Yeah, I so I, I would just never forget that. Like, uh, and then the day that the actual podcast came out, like that oh, yeah. morning, like I'm just my eyes opening, struggling at eight o'clock, and they were like, We see y'all. I was like, What? So much love. <laughs> that was such a happy morning. So much love. Um, every episode, yeah. every episode, so, like, so much love. It's so just much. so many good things have also happened, you know. This year, I love it. Oh, yeah. it makes me feel so good. Um, well, I'm gonna bring us back down really quick. Um, <laughs> you know, you're just gonna start with the bad, bare news. bad news. Yeah. yeah, I feel like the worst moments of 2020 um, was just the loss. Like it was just so many loss. Mm-hmm. I, I I am thankful. I have not had a, in my immediate family any loss. I am extremely. But I've had so many friends, y'all. So many family members who's been in their immediate family, mm-hmm. like a cousin or something. You know, just like, it's so weird. You know, just like even like people who I don't know, like famous people passing. Yeah. And just the moments that we lost as well. I feel like the holidays were different. Mm-hmm. The birthdays were different. The anniversaries were different, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm thankful. So, you know, those were, I feel like there were so many worst moments. I don't like, I don't have an end all be all like, oh, you know. Yeah, this was it. Yeah. No. And, and that's, I'm, yeah, something to be good. thankful It was for. a cloud of gloom it was. for a long time. Because mm-hmm. you couldn't okay. see the light. So, you so know. the end, and I mean, I kind of still feel like we in that part. It's like worse now than ever, and I'm worried how bad it's going to be for people that are getting evicted, for people who do not mm-hmm. have food, for people who do not have income. Mm-hmm. I am like, those are my worst moments. That's what keeps me up at night, knowing mm-hmm. that I'm sleeping good, but mm-hmm. Say that. there's so many people who are not. Um, but but best moments, y'all. I would I would say um, around my my graduation era you know like i didn't get to graduate but i did get to defend my dissertation Mm -hmm. dr woods is there i feel like you know coming just out that room with a signed copy of saying yes you did it you know that was good defending it then actually sending that last edited (laughs) copy in the email your body doesn't feel the stress afterwards but my mind knew i was done and that was a day of like sigh relief like Crying, rejoice, like wow, like I this did is the it. Best moment. You yeah. did it. You did it. Like you really, Doctor James, and nobody could tell you nothing. Like okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and then another, just stepping out on faith. Um, I started two businesses in 2020. Started a new job. Started two new jobs. Two new jobs. Two new businesses, and leaving somewhere that I knew I could have retired. Somewhere that I knew I could have been forever. Somewhere that I knew that I wanted to make a difference in, but then leaving that place because I wasn't able to do that. I didn't see that happening. It coming to fruition. I kept getting roadblocks. I kept getting people in my ear and in my corner telling me, you know, this is not it. This is not how it's supposed to be. Mm. So one of the best moments in 2020 was just stepping out on faith, mm. and it just. Mm-hmm. Like, here we are. We did it. We made it. And I'm not going to say I'm where I want to be in my businesses, but they done. They, mm-hmm. It started. You're where so you should be. Yeah. You are exactly where you are supposed yeah. to be in your journey. I'm enjoying the journey, too. Yeah. I am not rushing it. I'm not in a race. I know it's going to take nothing but patience. So I'm thankful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. This is, I, I get, look, I graduated. I defended, too. <laughs> I did. No big deal. That's what I'm Come saying. On, like, I'm like, here. Are we not going to, like, talk about the day? I definitely sat there and watched her get up and be. And y'all was there. My, when I'm talking about my people was with me. Oh, yeah. You, you had the whole. She and I was did. like, I thought we couldn't have this many people. I know. I love it. I love it, though. Uh, we bought the food. Woo, girl. 
had my she peoples did. with me. Come she on. Did. She did. Come Throughout on. everything, I got my peoples with me. So that's what I'm saying. Like That was I'm such like, a good day. It was. It, I mean, but like I said, every time I am with loved ones, it's a good day. So oh. I can't. All right. Well, I'm getting a little bit emotional. What? Like, <laughs> like so. <laughs> We're going to uh, wind it all down. Woo, stop. <laughs> no. But, you, hey, I, I will say we, we got a little emotional. Real thug cry. <laughs> Real thug. I needed a break. Look, there's, there's I, I always say there's no shame in tears. It's, like I say, I will be petty one day. I will be tearful one day. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. Like, I'm. If I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. Y'all yeah. better have a tissue. Y'all know something? I don't think I did as much like random crying until this year. Oh, yeah. Like, not like crying, like cry just like in random moments, but like 2020 was all. I would be like, God, Libra. And then just start just crying. Take a moment, yeah. I ain't need as many moments <laughs> until 2020. Anyway. Hey, and there's no, like, no shame in no. crying. No shame. I'm a crier. <sighs> I am not, but <laughs> but there's a judging. No, oh. no, no, it, I'm judging myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm judging okay. myself because right, I'm like, was that judgy? Sis, you should have been <laughs> like that's that was me talking to myself. Why wasn't you? <laughs> you had reason. Um, no, yeah, I don't know. I be, I just be breathing. <laughs> that's good. And, but like what I mean, I don't mean to say that like oh I just keep on living. Like when I say breathe, I mean it's like. <gasps> yeah, yes, like yes, it is. Right? And yes. like, but you know what? I don't know if you're a crier so much as like you're a venter. Oh, like, you be yeah. like, I'm just about to. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I, that's how I always start. Me and Kayla. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> and then 15 minutes <laughs> like, and let me tell you another little story. <laughs> but um, yeah, out. yeah. I I deep inhale and deep like I get it all out type of thing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so with all of the. Ooh, yeah. moments of 2020. Like, what's the <laughs> what's the biggest lesson that y'all feel? What What do y'all feel like y'all learned from the year? Turn on my L's and the lesson. Boom. Yes, Lord. That's what you feel like you learned, Care. Oh no. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what's the lesson I learned? Yeah. Um, gratefulness. Oh, I like it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've always been grateful, uh, but I, I'll, gratefulness, checking on your people. Mm-hmm. Checking on your people, gratefulness. I I think that uh, yeah, phone, phone line been hotline been blinking because mm-hmm. I just needed to. What you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, making sure they are. Chaz, what do you, what's, what do you think you learned the most from this year and you know from this season? We gonna be all right. Ooh, I like we that gonna too. Be all gratefulness, right. we gonna be all right. Yeah, for sure. I feel like. It was some days where I'm like, I don't know how we gonna make it. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I have no idea how I'm personally gonna make it. And then here goes the morning, and we're gonna be all right. Mm-hmm. Like I felt like in those dark times, that mm-hmm. dissertation, y'all, is nothing like it. But <laughs> there is nothing like someone telling you to consolidate three chapters after they mm-hmm. made you just <sighs> write those three <laughs> into separate mm-hmm. chapters. So you know, it's just like you're gonna be all right, no yeah. matter what life throw at you, y'all. Loss. Triumph, being humble when he do throw you, you know, a bone. <laughs> Take that, you know. It's mm-hmm. gonna be all right. Mm. What about you? Um, I think you. I've learned that, like, it, I think through this, it's been a difficult season. You just kind of learn that the little petty, crazy stuff. And I think I've been like that for a long time. That's kind of, but I think I've just it's just been reinforced. Like the little petty stuff little crazy stuff like honestly like you learn what really matters like mm-hmm. family living in peace your friends like I think perspective has shifted even more after this mm-hmm. um so I've just kind of learned like really all that little stuff don't matter things that extra stuff that stresses you out that stuff don't matter like <laughs> yeah. you, I, I've learned that especially after all this like we're living in a pandemic where people are dying, yeah. where like people are going without resources, like all that extra stuff that we be mad about, like that stuff don't matter. No. I've been living my life, and I think I've been living it like this for a while. But like, if I die tomorrow, what they gonna say? Mm-hmm. Like that's how I've been living yes. my life. Like I yes. want to live a legacy of whatever it is. But you know what I'm saying? Like if I die tomorrow, what they gonna say? Yeah, right. So I I got a quick saying for that. What? Um, don't sweat the petty stuff 
and don't pet the sweaty stuff. All right? All right. You lost me on that last part. Don't pet the sweaty stuff. <laughs> like don't, like don't, don't stoke it like don't don't stir. just don't touch nothing. don't it's touch sweaty. none of that that's oh. sweaty stuff if it, if it look like grimy. it's sweating and it's don't yeah. don't even go that way oh, i was thinking too deep did y'all get that <laughs> say was, it again jess <laughs> i was going too deep this stuff from high school <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were just saying like don't be petty <laughs> no i mean no nah, you could no, well, you can be petty. No, yeah, I'm just saying, don't sweat the petty stuff. You know, yeah, if it's small yeah. stuff, don't sweat it. Yeah. But then, if it's sweaty, don't pet it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go near that. Can't look at like <laughs> what you lost me. I, the <laughs> second part, I definitely was thinking too deep. But I just needed a little laughter for twenty. I, I hey, you. girl, shoot, I'm here with it. There I'm here with it. I just want to say that I am like so grateful to be in y'all's lives. Because every time y'all said something, I was like, oh, my God, I was there. Oh, my God. Oh. And, like, I'm just like, oh, man, I really be there. Like, I really be there. Oh. They, they like me in real life. Do like um, Sally Field. You guys like me. Um, But anyway, since we are talking about a recap, uh, let's recap the season. Like, what was y'all favorite moment or what was your favorite episode of the season? We had the intro episode, voting, dating, working, self-help, praying, um, aging. Oh, um, that was sweet. Yeah. What was episode seven? Oh, shopping and giving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shopping and giving. Like, Throw it in the bag. Yeah. Oh, Carrie, you go first. What was your favorite? I can't ask and go first. <laughs> That's Dr. Jazz, you got some. Um, <laughs> my favorite. So we can say a moment and an episode, right? Yeah. Okay, so my favorite episode was the one with my mama. Yeah. Um, only it was just because it was different. I was in New Orleans, like the only episode recording in New Orleans. Yeah. For me. I was excited about that. Um and my mama was there. She was so transparent because y'all, I promise I asked her those questions before. You know, we she was cooking literally as we were preparing for the podcast, and her answers just like really shocked me. I'm like, I can't believe this lady right now. So yeah. that was like a wow moment, um, and just really thankful for that. Um, yeah. But my best moment was when I got my fanny little hammer pin. Oh, <laughs> that's a oh my god, y'all! It's it's still in my bag. I've worn it a few times. You know, it's like a sacred <laughs> pin. It's not not like an everyday pin type of thing. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Woods. For thinking of me. So that's my favorite moment. Oh, uh, you are welcome. <laughs> you are very welcome. And I just want everybody to know I got Jazz a pen too. I oh, just, yes. I just didn't give it to her on the podcast. I didn't just give one. She loves me less, people. <laughs> yeah, no. She loves me less. They equally Girl, got pens. She really doesn't Radical like Dream. me that much. Anyway, there's no favorites here. I need to be an ambassador for them. Um, you do. Hey, y'all need to sponsor Dr. Woods. If sponsor me. Because I literally be having y'all on deck. You gift need to show everybody. me your book bag. My book bag has too many to to even put on like more on there now. But anyway, um, I have a lot. Uh, yeah, that, I like those. Those were both yeah. really great moments. Yeah. They were. Yeah. They were. Um, see, people do something small, and you don't know how it's gonna affect somebody. Get that impact, y'all. Yes. <laughs> Thought about me. Jazz, you ready? Cause I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Okay. It's Favorite moment. I, I don't know. I have so many. I'd be like, what the <laughs> world? <laughs> um. It was one episode I can't remember, but I swore we ate a fruit roll up. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like we like, had ten gushers right before. On sugar, just. I mean, like little gushers. fruit roll up for y'all. Be like, what y'all say? No, like I. Feel, I feel like we were just on a candy high recording, but um. <laughs> I can't remember what episode that was, uh, but my I think my favorite like moment of like when we were recording was the dating episode, and when we did like the whipple, and we would just went around and it was like really really fast, like yeah. longest entanglement, I yeah. longest relate, and everybody was just like huh, what? Cause we, <laughs> we were sitting there asking each other questions and we were at the table, and so we didn't go around and like pre like okay what are you gonna say what are you gonna say right. like this was just stuff where everybody was just like it's definitely like somebody that. Entanglement needs to be detangled. Like we need, we need it to be like. Long as can we can we go a little bit further today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, so that was my favorite one, just because it it got very funny. Yeah. Um, and it was just 
I mean, nothing about any of that was scripted. So that was my favorite, like, moment of recording. Um, that and when, that moment, I have two. And then when Dr. Jazz started talking about teeth. <laughs> <laughs> See? Everybody remember that. Um, our producer, Stefan, is in the background. He oh. shook his head, too. <laughs> Shout out to Stefan, who was also our musical yeah, artist. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Y'all, um, don't embarrass when Dr. Jazz started talking about it's teeth. Up, baby. Like, this is not if y'all remember, let's go back to the dating. I hope I can post a clip one day <laughs> on the IG. I'm gonna post a clip from the YouTube. But what got me was see, not everybody listen to that this part when she said she'll lick the teeth. <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. It was like, what are y'all's list of like things that you like when dating? And she was like, Oh, um, and her she started off and she was like, Good teeth. We're like, huh? Well, and we're like, do they have to have them? You can get braces. We just got to work on it. Everybody was just like. I think it's because we were, we were trying to be like so like. <laughs> deeper. Oh, yeah. And I'm so surface. Uh, and we started off like, well. A Christian. a Christian. And she was like, good teeth. And then she just sat it's there and was just like. to my mama. <laughs> that was my second favorite moment. Oh, man. I hope you guys go back and watch episode, I think, three or four, which four. was dating. It was four, yeah. Funny. Thank you, Jazz. I hope, like, we need to cut that YouTube and post, like, a throwback. We need a throwback okay. Thursday moment. We need a, yeah, we do. We no, we do. don't. Um, no, we don't. That's <laughs> funny. I, I will lick your teeth, though. Okay, see? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like y'all judging me. And, um, um, and I will judge you, so it's okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. I ain't licking no teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Favorite moment. Yeah, we got to cut that out. Favorite moment. See, they be wild. What's your, oh, yes, ma'am. You got oh, favorite one? episode. Oh. My favorite episode. It's clearly the dating one. No. Well, oh, yes, I love the dating moments. episode. Okay. I felt like we were just spilling tea the whole time. And y'all know I love to spill the tea. <laughs> Tell a little secret. Um, Favorite episode was probably the dating episode because it was so hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> and also, also, hold on. Okay. Probably on. um, the working episode. Okay. Just because I believe we actually like it was just so like it was a little bit like informative. Mm-hmm. Everybody was just kind of like we were just flowing. Um, and I hope it I hope it reached people. Yeah. Like for us to be young. African American women doing good in our fields, and we've all gotten there through different paths. Right. I felt like that was just an important episode. For sure. Um, that so was that definitely was grounding. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And I have another favorite. Okay. <laughs> so they're not your favorites. <laughs> and then I'm done. So you like them all? If y'all, this is a backstory, and I'm gonna let them chime in. I, when we started talking, did not like the shopping and giving episode. Right. I was actually She like, wasn't on board. She just, we, we really had to like sell her the shopping and giving, which was actually ironic to me that we had to sell the shopping <laughs> and giving to you. I like to shop. To be like, yeah, well, and like the fact that it was shopping and we had to sell it to you. Like, like mm-hmm. she just wasn't, she didn't see the vision yet. No, nope. She didn't see the vision. Did not see it at all. And I'm <laughs> like, I have to see it in my head. I was like, this don't make sense, y'all. Like, yeah, I was like. She kept on saying, I'm like, Okay. And we're gonna do what? Yeah. And we're gonna do what? I mean, okay. Because okay. I'm gonna support whatever vision the 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 brand has. Right. Like that's what we're a team. Right. But they bought this. I was like, Ooh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. But it turned out to be one of my favorites. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. Shout out to all our partners. support your brand. Right. This is how. Right. This is the tidbit of the day when you're a collective brand. Support the brand and the vision because you never know how it will turn out. And I believe you should always trust your partners because right. they have your best. I knew y'all had my best interest. I just couldn't see it. So I think <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson from that. I really did, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I know. Look, we just had to I'm just letting y'all know. Bit. In 2020, I learned a valuable lesson to trust the members of your brand because y'all were going to have my back anyway. And it turned out to be amazing. Mm-hmm. So that is for a business lesson, brand lesson. Yeah. Trust Trust your other two. Literally, as soon as we stop, like hit stop. I, I love that. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I was giving y'all such a hard time. Oh <laughs> wow. Me and Jeb was like, yeah. Like, yes. You think? Yes. 
<laughs> I learned a very big lesson. I did a moment of self reflection, yeah. and I was like, "What did you learn from this? To trust right. don't your don't team. be bigger than yourself. Like you know what I'm saying? Don't True. be bigger than yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah, I literally learned trust your team and just don't. Because I will like if I can't see, I start to question. I'm like, why? Because you know they have your back. We got you, girl. Forever and ever. So yeah. yeah, lesson of the day: use that in your own branding, and just trust. Like yes. that turned out to be one of my favorites. I'm eating my words. <laughs> Eat your words. <laughs> oh man, y'all probably was like you. You just gotcha. you know? <laughs> we were just letting you be jazz. I was, <laughs> another time where I needed somebody with a camera filming me to be like, like forever. Really? You want to change this again? Really? <laughs> Let me stop. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, because she. I know. For real. But we still love you. There was there was never no like. Come on, Jay. Like it was it never. Was, nah. it, yeah, it wasn't. We still love you. I was just like we we gonna get it right, and we did. Hopefully, we did. Yeah. I hope y'all liked it. Okay, so from the lady who didn't have nothing, five minutes later, it's my turn. What you got here? <laughs> no, I'm talking. About, I still don't have nothing. Um. um what? <laughs> my okay. I think that my my, my favorite. Moments were behind the camera because we had so many people that came in and helped us yeah. film, or like, or the moments that people like we would be with our friends and they would be like, "Y'all did this!" Like, mm-hmm. "Oh my god!" Like, "Da da 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 da!" Like, I think it was just the moments that were removed where like people are texting me, "Are y'all gonna do this episode?" And I'm like, "Well, well yeah, yeah, I sure. yeah, like we'll think of it. Yeah, I'll put it to the group." Like, so I think those are my favorites of just like really, like mm-hmm. I said, we have listeners all over the world and. We don't have people all over the world, so not at all. It's amazing. Are people who send um, pictures of their merch? I know. And it's just like, y'all, I'm feeling good today because I got my Audacity merch on. I'm like, you look good too, bro. Right. Um, so I think those are my favorite moments. Um, also, like when we set up and like deset, I think that our conversations are different. Like we just have really good conversations right before, and then we also have good conversations afterwards. Like at the end of the day, I think my moments is that we are still friends. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Aww. Like like that we're still like we're with audacity in front and oh, not yeah. in front of the camera. Um, so that's that's great to me. Even though, like you said, I be sometimes I be like, look, y'all, I know that I done tested y'all about this, but uh, we need to get this done. And, oh uh, yeah, but that's never like a oh, it's yeah, just I like, hate that. This is no, care. No, yeah, yeah, it's not I, work to me. I don't want to seem like it's like okay, care. You know, I got stuff going on. Like I, I try to be present of what y'all have outside of the life, which is nice because we're friends. So I know what's going on outside yeah. and inside. Like when it was just like okay, this is care, and y'all like okay, this is jazz. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They take me for what I am, and take I me love for who it. I am. Questions yes. and all. Yes. I love it. I love it. I actually also, I have one more moment. Um, it, it's not really the podcast. It's kind of the podcast. But y'all are like, um, my friends want to meet you. Can Dr. J's be our friend? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, ugly cry. Like, my eyes are actually watering right now. Y'all didn't know what that meant to me. Y'all was talking about self care Sunday. Like, I know y'all was friends, and I was like, you want to be my friend? Oh, my God. Oh, me? Oh, my oh God. me? Like, oh, man. No, and then last thing, we recently celebrated Dr. Wood's birthday, y'all. And I was sitting at a table separate from y'all, so I'm like, you know, this is Do- Dr. Yeah. Wood's friends. But then I, was I wasn't, really I wasn't really talking, but I was kind of, you know, participating. And then something happened. I think Lakara said something about the podcast, and then Nisha was sitting next to me, like, oh, "You are from the podcast," and like, a <laughs> whole me, a whole me, you know, me, like, y'all. Oh. Okay, and she like made us get up and take pictures. Yes. So that yes. was so. That was my favorite part. Yeah. Thank y'all for bringing me in. You gonna be cool. at everything from Baby. friends giving to yes. Chris. Like, I'm t- <laughs> Baby, <laughs> hey, uh, literally, I like it. I think the first episode like posted, and they was like, "We're kind of sad we don't know Dr. J." Yeah, they were like, um, "I wanna, we wanna know her more." And, and I, then I looked at myself like, "How come they don't know Dr. <laughs> Jazz? Care? Why weren't you inviting Dr. Jazz?" But Dr. Jazz has been busy, y'all. But like, also, I really did look at myself like, "Wow, this is dumb. Why, why hasn't this so. been a thing?" No. Um, I'm thankful. Yeah, to be thought of. Yeah. Oh man, I don't have a favorite episode. I think voting. I, also, I mean, voting. You of don't. No. What? I be I. Of course, like <laughs> voting was my favorite topic. I'll say, okay. but it wasn't my favorite episode. Okay. I think that another moment that I get is like whenever an episode comes out, my dad that night or that Wednesday would be like, 
I like the episode. <laughs> and I, you're like, that was a good episode, Doc. So looking back, you don't have one that was just like, I think I like that one. No, I, and I, but I think that's a good thing because like we, I try to, you know, you, you try to put the same amount of energy oh, in every sure. episode. Yeah. So I don't have a favorite. I'm just, I just, like you said, I'm happy with how each one came out. Yeah. Y'all know my least favorite was self care. And <laughs> we I'm, know. I'm oh, sorry. trust me, we know. I'm sorry. That was, I was on that jazz while I was she like, she had vision. I, no, Why I saw this? the vision. She did. I, yeah, she I was. see. I saw the vision. I just don't align with the vision. <laughs> <laughs> this just don't speak to me. This just yeah, it just didn't speak to me. It just I got on me. board. Carol was just like, man, this not my ministry. I was like, the people. I said, look. I, I said the people gonna feel it. <laughs> Kara is not one of the people. She literally kept saying this before. Yeah, probably so during funny. and then after. I know. I and I tried really hard. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but we did all the behind the scenes secrets. Yes, all the behind the scenes. This is the expose of with audacity. <laughs> but we did it. We, we did, did it. You know, the only person who probably did it, like, because me and you were like, man, on two episodes. Jazz was just like on every episode, she was amazing. <laughs> on every episode. I'm we, amazing. This is my Be more like Dr. Jazz 2021. I'm saying what? Exactly. Just, I'm just showing up. Just y'all. don't be vocal. <laughs> like that's my thing. I'm me just, and Carol. I'ma just be quiet. Hush. <laughs> it was just one episode I was like that. Oh, don't look at my missing nail. But <laughs> y'all X that out. But <laughs> what? What you want? Missing a nail. I know, but we said how are we gonna exit out? What you want to put in front of it? Um, <laughs> exactly. Oh we did it with audacity. Missing <laughs> nail or not, baby? Hell not done or not, baby? We here. Twenty twenty. <laughs> we here. Thank you ain't get us. You couldn't get the best of us. Jesse, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't really know. Okay, so let's let's wrap it all, y'all. Okay, because clearly we've had fun in the house. Oh, twenty twenty yeah. has kept us in the house. Yeah, but, we, but we've had fun. What is the first thing you gonna do when the streets open up? And I mean, like, <laughs> not like open up, like, cause like right now in Georgia they already open. We not so doing I mean, that. No, we not doing yeah. that. I mean, like, open up where you feel safe that it's open. What you gonna do? What street you finna hit? <clears throat> Frenchman. In New Orleans, I want to hear some live music Woo! and dance with random strangers. Yeah, I love it, y'all. If y'all Can come to New you Orleans, take uh, come on. So get like, in the car. Jess. I say New Orleans is one of my favorite cities. I go there how many times? She's I know a lot of times. Come on, it's your favorite city, and you ain't never been with me. I know. What's up? I've never been with you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't think my real friends, y'all. They were my real friends in Montgomery and Alabama. Yikes! Oh, oh. come on, come when y'all coming. I'm coming, yes. Wait, that's the first thing you're going to do when in the world? I'm going home and have a good time having drinks, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm and here. we're the first thing that Karen and I are doing is going to New Orleans Thank with you. the New Orleans shorty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with Magnolia sword. <laughs> no, oh, good, man, Magnolia. I can't do it. Can I do it? Can I do a bird? Can rub my hands real fast? There we go. Ooh, you can y'all it. feel the ass? Hear it. I love it. I love she it. said, can y'all hear that? Karen, can what is the first that? thing you're going to do? <laughs> I'm Besides finna, go to NOLA. I'm finna find a concert. It's, yes. It still has to do with music. I'm music. finna find a concert. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna get a stamp on this passport. That's it. That's it. Bow. That's it. What about you? Um, oh, and see my folks. I'm sorry. Oh, see my family. My, and see my family. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. I want to visit so many people. <laughs> so, the first thing Jazz is gonna do, um, my, Louis is my little brother. Um, Who's probably like the biggest chunk of my little heart, and um, he was. We were talking the other night, probably like last night. He was like, "Yeah, when this pandemic goes, we really got to get back on." We've been talking about having a siblings trip for like so a year or so, and then the pandemic hit, and it was like, oh, "Well, you ain't going nowhere." Go. Um, so <laughs> you gotta have a siblings yeah. trip. We want to have a siblings trip, so I hope that Rona ends yeah. so that so cute. The criminal C4 can get back on planning That's so that trip and um, cut up somewhere. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Lewis. Hey, that, um, I like that. that. Can K.A. Woods Incorporated? Heck yeah. You <laughs> met Lewis? Incorporated? Yeah. 1991? <laughs> right. <laughs> Karen Kayla, y'all come yeah. on with the siblings. Yeah, so K. A. Woods squared. Yeah, so yeah, we, uh, we want to plan it. Shoot the woods, y'all come on too. That's what's up. Yeah, so that's I love that. Like a, a siblings C four, yeah, K K K A W square, K A W square. Yeah, that's right. Um, call, call. Call. And then I want to just go to like a music fest somewhere. Be free. Okay. Um, we all got some music going. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, and then hopefully like a trip, like just a, a normal trip, like yeah, a beach. Just yeah, do that. Oh, that'd be nice. With a little sand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's it for your girl. Yeah, just I guess I just want to be normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah, yeah. I feel you, man. Gotcha. Darn you, twenty twenty. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, guys, I, I'm glad how we kind of switched the episode. I feel like the first part was like, womp, womp, womp. I know. Now we need a different type of alcohol. I'm just kidding. We're not drinking. <laughs> um, we're not. But, uh, yeah, I like, I like, this might be my favorite. Who knows? Yeah. So I forgot another favorite. <laughs> oh, God. Another. Clearly, I just like the entire season, and I could just need to replay it every day. All of but, it. But um, the prayer episode, because Kara reminded me, she's like, don't you like, I love that episode, because it was so, like, like so inspirational. We got so many good resources from that. Like, yeah. Courtney just, like, yeah. brought me to church in the living room. Yeah, like Jasmine said, like, feeling the empty cup type of thing. Like, I needed that. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and it, it was, it, like, an inspirational, like, this is what you need to keep going. Like, right. Those you, resources. you could listen to that one several times. That's yeah. what I'm saying. In the midst of it. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So shout out to Courtney Meadows Download. again. Mm-hmm. I the pre- yeah, the prayer episode, another favorite. I clearly I like the entire season. So. Duh. <laughs> As you should. As, As you I should. should. Oh, All right. Man. Um we have any resources for we did it in twenty twenty. We did it with Audacity. Oh mm-hmm. man. Do you have any um, something that I'm doing right now, um, shout out to Yay Yeezy, um, with the Black Explorers Book Club. I am reading for pleasure now, you know, that mm. we are done with school. <laughs> Ooh, for pleasure, baby. Um, I just got done with Ring Shout, y'all. Oh my God, it's fiction, but it's like historical fiction, and it seemed like it could be happening right now in 2020. Woo, by P. D. Clark. It's a black author. Check him out. And that's what I just got finished. But the book I'm reading right now is When No One Is Watching. And that's by Alyssa Cole. So it's like a thriller as well. It's like suspenseful. Um, keeps you on the tip of your toes. Keep turning the page. Um, so yeah, and just just do what you want to do. I feel like yeah. the year, it's been so prescriptive. People are like, oh my God, I got so much left to do. Just do what you want to do, you know, for you. Mm-hmm. That's my resource. What you got? Thank you for that resource. I I like historical fiction and I like thrillers. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're actually pretty good. Both of them black authors. You know, the black explorer. So just doing it, just, you know, doing what you want to do. I have started with Disney Plus. I have um, started watching all of the Disney um, movies in chronological order. And I literally just started. So, like, Snow White was the first one in, like, 1937. And the next one is Pinocchio. So I love it. At wow. some point, I will be watching Pinocchio probably, like, in, by the end of the weekend. That's so cute. I'm so, yeah, I'm that sorry. does nothing but just make your heart happy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. And a little sad because it's Disney. But you come back, you know. <laughs> the Lion then, King. Full oh my circle. Gosh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What about you? What are you doing with Audacity at this very moment? Ooh, what am I doing with Yeah, Audacity? that's our resource. It's like, do something with Audacity. That's what I'm doing with Audacity. What are you doing with Audacity? Um, Shoot, living every day like a boss. There Ooh, we go. Uh, <laughs> Daddy? Uh, what am I doing with Audacity? Mm, uh, I feel like I have learned the... I, I feel like I implemented like the, cause I've I've gotten back into my regimen of like going back to the gym after work, and that for me makes me like being on the schedule and like that woo side after work that does good for me. Like that is that is how I live with audacity by like coming home and like not taking the work, going home to do more work right after work. Sometimes I can't do that. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Eh, eh, like so for anybody like all the professionals out there. Y'all don't go home straight to that laptop. Like, take your break. I encourage it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on Friday nights, how I live, and Saturdays too, mostly how I live audaciously is I don't pick up my computer unless I have to. I love unless it. it's a trial week. No. Because um, I live a highly stressful, I mean, I work a highly stressful job. So Friday nights, it is 
watching Love After Lockup or Catfish or whatever oh, funny show. Man. And I truly love, like, Kara watched her Disney. I watch Ratchet TV. I and it. I freaking love it. It brings me joy. It brings me so much laughter. Me and my mama call each other. And it's like, girl, you watching that? Yep. So <laughs> that's what I do on Friday nights. And it is great. Unless we're downtown and I'm hanging with my girls and we're watching the band. And that is also what I do. So... I just live my life. Shout out to thank all be all. Yes, and do things with my friends and my circle that is going to bring me joy and make me smile and realize that I only get one life and living this stressed out is not how I'm going to do it. Mm. So, Don't stress me. That's how I'm living audaciously, okay. by living less stressed out. There so. And I'm also reading right now for a little bit of pleasure. Okay. I'm trying my best. Y'all know it's been hard. I've been saying that since the beginning. Reading is still very hard. But right now, I'm reading More Than Pretty by Erica Campbell. Um, I haven't gotten, I haven't finished it yet. Jury's still out, but so far it's not that bad. So I'm reading. And um, yeah, just trying to do things that are making me woosah. Because 8 to about 5, 5.15, 5, 5, it's just like, uh, so... Yeah, so enjoying the time you have. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So yeah. continue that with your people. Yeah. All right. So y'all know it's my favorite time of the today day. in Black History. Today is December 29th. It's it's almost about to be the new year. Yeah. Um, but you know, which each year is something historic that we need to bring up. So yeah. and on what this you, day, on this day, what happened? So today is um, Rosalie Reddick Miller's birthday. She was born December 29th, 1925 in Waycross, Georgia. And for those of you who don't know uh, Rosalie Reddick Miller, she was the first African-American woman dentist to practice in the state of Washington. Um, she got her degree from Fisk University. and Fisk she. Skype. Oh, sorry. There we go. Her dad is Her dad is guy. Yeah, I know. Her dad. That's why she got a little excited. <laughs> um, and she went to Meharry Medical College where she Still got in Nashville. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, where she got her DDS. Um, during the early 1950s, um, she and her husband fought, fought against discrimination and segregation in Nashville, and she was also an active participant in the struggle for voting rights um, and spearheaded a voter registration movement in for blacks in the city. So, yes, yeah, she was the first dentist to practice in the state of Washington. Um, she fought for change against discrimination and everything, so really like a dentist activist, and she did so much within her lifetime, so shout out to Dr. Dr. Rosalie Reddick yes. Miller. Hello and happy history. birthday. Thank so, you. Yeah, that is your today in Black History Moment. Thank you, my friend. We yeah. needed that. Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, it's about that time. You know, we, plug, we plug, yeah, plug. we finishing the year. We finishing the episode. Y'all oh, man. Know. Follow well, us. Well, follow us. with audacity. Yes. Y'all already know across the board. That's right. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Put us on your top eight. You hear me? We don't have a MySpace. She says this all the time. You hear me? Y'all remember MySpace? Or put us on your top eight. Yes, ma'am. Um, but seriously, you know, turn on your post notifications because we do stuff all the time um, from giveaways sometimes. Yeah. Um, so discount codes. Discount sometimes. codes right. pop up. So really, you need to have your post notifications turned on on Instagram so y'all can keep up with all things with Audacity. Make sure that you are subscribed. Right. Uh, make sure you are following us so y'all always know what's going on. And if you click the link in our bio, you can get your merch. Um and figure out everything that's going on so you can stay informed. Yes. Email us if you need to. You want to collab. Um, if you're a visual artist, um, musical artist, um, you have some information you want to get to us, a resource, uh, yeah. an episode that you want to hear, you know, a topic, let us know. Like Jazz said, talk to us. Talk to us, baby. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love that. Talk to us nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. follow me at you. L O V three underscore jazz. Woo! All yeah, right, that's good man. I just want to say thank you to everybody. Please rate the podcast, even if you listen to it on Spotify. Your phone probably got Apple Podcasts on there, so go rate it on Apple Podcasts. We appreciate it. Appreciate the love. You can follow me at Flips Fro on IG, and okay. um, I'm gonna pass it to my right. Yeah, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. 2020 has been amazing. Y'all have been showing so much love. So. You know, we want to keep showing that back and keep giving the people what they want. Ooh. Okay. With audacity at gmail.com. 
talk to me, baby. Say it again, Jazz. With audacity at gmail.com. We're going to give y'all what y'all want. So let us know what you want. Duh. Period. Um, and follow me, um, Magnolia, <laughs> S-O-U-L-J-A underscore, or Dr. Dot Jazz, J-A-S 2020. Yeah. Thank you to our visual artist of the episode. We got Alyssa. Yes, um, girl. Thank yes. you. I love that. Follow love her that. at A Mache 334. She is a visual artist, a muralist. Um, she's from Montgomery. She does amazing work. That piece, that's just one, it's one of many. Of, I keep showing his name. That's so just bright, one of so many. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, make sure y'all follow Alyssa, y'all. I that's like I think that's my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you want to hold it up real quick? Yeah, of course, y'all. It's so cute. It is beautiful. And then also, thank you so much to Jay. He um, did the music for this episode. You can follow him at JZ Art. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And I mean, we did it. We, we did, did it with it. audacity. Bruh. We made it out of 2020, y'all. Y'all made it out of 2020. Comment. And tell us, like, if y'all have a story about, you know, What's how your y'all favorite? made it out. Your favorite episode, your favorite moment. Yeah, how you made it out. How you made it out. What we want to know. Yeah. What 2020 taught you. All that. Tell us, y'all. For real. We are very interested in y'all. I don't, I don't know. Like, we are very interested in you guys. We are. Mm. Yeah. All right. Peace, love, and so <laughs> We out this thing, man. Bye, baby. Man, it seems like I can sing when I do that, but I can't. <laughs>